This is it. All my efforts pay off now. The Spiral is here somewhere, and he thinks he's safe behind his walls of stone and his monsters, but that's where he's wrong. Because I'm already here. And I owe a debt to the Sparrow. A debt of blood and carnage. And I intend to pay it. Let's get stupid! Simple enough. Sparrow's laid a number of traps for me around this place. Most followers thought they could possibly stop me. Undead minions aren't nearly as much of a threat when they've been pulling more than chickens. I've dealt with so many members of his elite guard before that it's become a routine for me. stash of goodies for me to restock before I go forth and meet my ultimate fate. The Sparrow Live is waiting for me just through here. So you have come at last. If death and the unimaginable terrors that lie beyond it are what you seek, then come, come and stand before your God. Oh, jeez. Sounds like he's been anxiously waiting for me to show up. Ah! And so happens I've been anxiously waiting for you to show up, Miss Meryl. dead. This is where it ends, this barrel. Send as many followers as you want after me. I know they're all very closely tied to your own life. There he is. Ouch! Rap, that was a bad idea.
can almost never hit him with that weapon. I'm surprised I actually managed it this time. Oh, I see you're getting desperate. Jump going much more frequently. We call it Coup de Gras. Can't hide from me forever. I also know he has no defenses against his own followers, so if he teleports onto that center platform, he could die very quickly. He's panicking. Yes! How does it feel? quite foreboding. Also, I turned off the game music so I can insert my own. The Sparrow is over, and his invasion has ended as well. These secrets can be reached with Wings of Wrath, and there's a pair right down here, but I didn't need them. I was able to take the Sparrow down all the same. Let's head back home. The death of the Sparrow has loosened the magical bonds holding his creatures on this plane. Their dying screams overwhelming his own cries of agony. Your oath of vengeance fulfilled, you enter the portal to your own world, mere moments before the dome shatters into a million pieces. The Despero's power is broken forever. Why don't you feel safe? Was it that last shout just before his death? The one that sounded like a curse? Or a summoning? You can't really be sure, but it might just have been a scream. Then again, what about the other Serpent Riders? Because remember, there's three of them. Seems one of them has taken notice of my travels. Now I'm not totally sure who that is. I think that's either um I think that's either Korax, the second serpent rider, or it's Adalon, the third and strongest of the serpent riders. It's probably Korax. In Hexen, in Hexen, this game's sequel, he appears as a huge six-armed beast. And I think the way he did that was he fused himself to the serpent he was riding, because it, 
did you notice how Despero was riding around that massive creature? That was a serpentine dragon. I think Korax had one of those as his um, steed too, but he fused himself with it to make himself more powerful. But either way, Despero's reign of terror has ended, but our journey is not. There's still the two expansion pack episodes remaining. The Ossuary and the Stagnant Domain. Hopefully with Despero out of the way, things may not be so tough? Either way, that's a question that will have to be answered another time.